Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and recently we received in some brand new Shell Cordovan. And this color here is called Green Shell Cordovan. It's a little bit different than some of the actual color name dark green that we had received in the past. This one has a much more of a forest green color where sometimes that dark green shade can sometimes read a little bit more of a black. And we made just about one of everything that we do in this brand new green shell cordovan because it's just so special we decided to offer it as a pre-order you can find all those items on the sale page of our website i wanted to pull out two of the shells here to show you because the colors do range a small amount so this first shell here is a little bit more on the light range of the colors that we're seeing in this batch of green shell cordovan it's almost got this bit of blue undertone to it in a slight way but it's definitely more of a forest green shade and here's the darker one this one just a little bit more uh, deep in color. And as you spin this green shell cordovan around, you'll notice there's a pretty dramatic color shift that happens. It's got a really nice depth of color that ranges from a darker, more forest green color to a little bit more of a true green shade. So let's go through all of the pre-order green shell cordovan items that are now available. The first one here is a variation on our Bugs Moran wallet, and this is what we call the vertical Bugs Moran because we have these vertical card slots on the inside. There are two card slots stacked on top of each other on each side of this wallet, as well as hidden card slots underneath. There's no bill compartment on the exterior of the Bugs Moran. And here's our conventional Bugs Moran with just the two card slots on each side. And each of the larger two card slots on the inside of the Bugs Moran will fit US dollars folded in half. Another thing about every one of these pre-order green shell cordovan wallets is they all have hand stained green edges to match the green shell cordovan on the outside. Moving on up from the Bugs Moran, this is a pretty similar design. This is a wallet we call the Tony the Ant. And Tony the Ant is pretty similar to the Bugs Moran on the inside here, but we've added an additional bill slot on the exterior, again with the hand stained edges. And here's a fat Herbie also in the green shell cordovan. It's pretty similar to the aesthetic of the Bugs Moran we just looked at with this, this exterior bill slot right here with a nice little thumb notch. This is the wallet design that I prefer. I find because of these cards on the inside, nothing is stacked on top of each other. The fat Herbie just lays thinner in your pocket. Up next here is our most popular wallet style. And I actually noticed these have already sold out, but I really wanted to give you a look at this really special Johnny the Fox. It's very, very difficult for us to get the appropriately thin pieces of shell cordovan for the interior of this design. And that's because there's so many layers of leather that need to stack on top of each other. We don't want this wallet to be overly thick. So we pick naturally thin pieces of shell cordovan and on a rare color like this, we're not able to make a lot of them. Up next is our Capone money clip. And I found this one to be the most striking to me. There's something about the combination, of this really nice green shade with the antique brass finish on the hardware for this money clip. I think these go really well together. Let me give you a look at the inside. We try to cut the Horween ink stamp into visible spots of the wallet. So on this design, we try to cut that into the center here. Up next, I have our one shot card case. Again, in the green shell cordovan, hand stained edges. This is a very simple minimalist front pocket wallet that I like to suggest to a lot of people just for carrying the essentials. And a small step up here from the one shot card case is the two shot card case. And you guess it, the two shot is called the two shot because we have two card slots on this one. So there's one in the front, one in the back, this back card slot is only appropriate for cards or US dollars folded into thirds. Similar to the two shot card case, this is our Frank the Enforcer design. It's a very similar aesthetic to the two shot, but there are two card slots on the front of this one, one larger card slot in the center here. This will fit US dollars folded in half. And then on the back of the Frank the Enforcer, we have one card slot with a thumb notch. Up next is one of our more recent wallet design offerings. This is the Vic Snap Wallet. We had a lot of customers overseas that were interested in a coin pouch from us. So we've got this green shell cordovan here, and it's one big continuous piece of leather with a snap closure. Last but not least, I have a Bic lighter and lighter sheath also in that green shell cordovan. This is another good opportunity to get some shell cordovan in your hands with a, a nice useful lighter on the inside of this. And I thought it'd be great to sneak in some really special wallets that Miranda in our shop here has come up with. This is what we're calling a Western embroidered Fat Herbie. And Miranda has made a couple interesting color combination 
Herbies with this uh, custom pattern. And the pattern that is embroidered on the outside of the Fat Herbies here is inspired by cowboy boots. And this was just hand drawn by Miranda and embroidered into the exterior bill slot of each of these wallets. So the first one here is a really great sort of tan and red color combo. The leather that we're using on the top here, this is actually a leather called Red Mystic. And we've got that sitting on top of some natural latigo in the center. On the outside here, we have some red stitching. And on the inside, we've got the same color combination with red mystic card holders. And you see the flesh side of the natural latigo in the center. This one also has contrasting sort of sand color, cream color stitching on the inside to give that two-tone look on the inside as well as the outside. Here's another really cool embroidered wallet. This is black shell cordovan inside and out. And we've got a really interesting sort of neon green stitch. And on the inside, we sort of highlighted the edges of the card holders with that same neon green thread. And here's one that really pops, check this out. Bold orange Essex with some blue, regatta blue latigo in the center. And this, these two colors seem to go really well together. I was noticing as I was going through the photos of this wallet, just how well this one photographs this very uh, photogenic wallet, you could say. On the inside, we've got the same concept with the blue and orange, orange Essex on the card holders with the blue stitching and then the reverse side of that regatta blue latigo in the center. In addition to those two colors, we also have some blue hand stained edges on the outside of this Fat Herbie. Here's another really cool one. This is actually green latigo horsehide on the exterior of this wallet. And in the center, this is raw ultraviolet shell cordovan. And we've got that same sort of two-tone color effect with the purple embroidering on top of the green. On the inside of this one, we've reversed all that with the green horsehide latigo card holders and this sort of purple magenta stitching around the border. And then this one has really beautiful looking edges. This is ultraviolet hand stained edges on this Fat Herbie. And last but not least, this one was my favorite color combination, but unfortunately this is an irregular wallet and I'll try to describe why that is. This is a really great combination of that ultraviolet shell cordovan with some yellow stitching and I really like the way that this one turned out. Here's a look at the inside. We have that same color combination with ultraviolet shell cordovan card holders and the yellow stitching here. You'll notice that there's some very minor scratches on the top left here, little sort of dings, very small marks on the shell cordovan in the inside right here. So we're gonna downgrade this one and reduce the price a slight amount just for those cosmetic issues, but otherwise it's an incredible Fat Herbie and uh, Miranda did a great job on these. So thanks for checking out the video today. If you wanna find some of these Western embroidered Fat Herbies, they're up right now on the private stock page of our website, ashlandleather.com. And if you're into the green, which this is some of the nicest shells that we've ever received in a rare color, it's really, really fun for me to see. These are all available on the sale page of our website. And again, these are pre-ordered items. So we're expecting to ship these in about three or four weeks. And everybody that's picked one of these up already, thank you guys so much for supporting us. I can't wait for you to have these. Until next time, I hope you have a good one.